a hit in the arcade. This game tried to replicate the same experience at home, but at three to six FPS. Oh no. It's like, at this point, just put your foolish ambitions to rest. Why even try to make... <laughs> it's awful Super Nintendo games. These are the worst of the worst of the Super Nintendo. I got sent some really interesting suggestions from someone who has completed every Super Nintendo game. Someone named Peebs. Vine Sauce did this before it was cool. No, 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 no. This is something... Someone different. Titus. Already we're off to an amazing, amazing start. There's Danny Aykroyd on the left about to sell some Crystal Head lock, Vodka. Lock, lock, lock and roll. I don't know why they made this into a video game. I don't believe I've played this, but I could have. I don't understand. What, what, what is this? Vinny, you chose two-player mode? I thought maybe it was some innovative form of gameplay where you have to control one character and then the other. Oh, I see. It's It defaults to two-player mode. How the fuck are you supposed to know that? This is a different level. What is he saying? Jet! I think he's saying Jet, like the Paul McCartney song. This is like the kind of game you would see on Nick Arcade, and you'd have to compete for the highest points. This is one of those games that will be left at Blockbuster when you got there too late on a Friday night. It still plays like a video game, and you can see what's happening. That's how low the bar is. But yes, they made a... a game for this particular movie. I do love this movie, by the way. I know where the bastard sleeps. I brought him there. There is no good version of a game for this movie. The Journey to Castle Dracula. The journey to give Keanu Reeves as few lines as possible, but still keep him in the movie. Oh, okay, so someone was like, hey, let's do Castlevania, except instead of a whip, We'll give the dude a butter knife. Yes, let me spawn back here and put three of the same enemy in my face. What a wretched attack this is. It's like Lagoon levels of bad. The game Lagoon is one of those games that I rented and convinced myself was good because I just wanted a new Zelda game and Lagoon seemed like the closest thing to it. That really is the best way to kill that boss is just, just crouch and hope that you win. Like, you can already tell. You just know when these old, like, licensed SNES games are gonna be... ...bad just from looking at them. Multi-layered levels of really unfocused level design, you know? It's like the Home Alone games on the NES. Same kind of thing. Is this Mr. Wilson's house? Why does he have infinite cats and fish? I especially love it when a platformer has a weapon that does not hit the enemies. Or does nothing to them. That's even better. It really just feels like a first pass with minimal playtesting, and they just said, yeah, good enough. It looks like a video game. Oh my god. Walter Matthau, Mr. Wilson, please. I don't I don't need I don't need to prove that I'm a real gamer by playing Dennis the Menace, right? Double Dragon 5, The Shadow Falls. Now this is one I've definitely not played. Wow. These are some scummy looking characters. <laughs> this is like, we peaked at this game in regards to- Oh, oh, I see what they're doing. I love this character. Is he wearing like super cool 90 sneakers? Fighting a Mortal Kombat lady? Well, it's not the worst fighting game I've ever played. Match two, fight. Match two, fight. 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 Yeah, my stats are terrible. I can do zero. I do almost no damage. Is this not a gun? Don't give a skeleton a video game gun and then not have it shoot like like bones or something. Gonna cry now? Look at the baby. Gonna cry? Gonna piss and shit? Gonna come? Gonna shit a little bit? Puke? I think the crusty character designs are fucking hilarious, though. Bill Lamebeer's Combat Basketball? Who is, who is Bill Lamebeer? Oh no, it's top down. I don't know what team I am. I don't know which character I'm controlling. The things I'm doing- oh, 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 okay, I think I'm that blue arrow person. It's a nice digitized Super Nintendo sound effect. 
So what little I know about basketball definitely does not apply to helping me here, because the game controls like such horseshit, I don't know if my movements are doing anything most of the time. Sorry, Mario, but your good games are in another system. Speaking of Mario, bless Mr. Flipnote's heart for including this game as if I've never played it before, but you know what? This is an all-time classic. Maybe not the worst game ever, by any means. You play as a reskinned Mario from Mario World. And then you're like, oh shit. Nope. You'll have to prove your goods are authentic by answering a few questions. How many people could fit in this place? 50,000. Who would use that spear? Uh, gladiators. At last, the gladiator's spear. We've been looking all over town. I literally don't even have this. You got it from a Koopa. I thought I got garlic from a Koopa. Isn't the PC version better? The PC version had has given birth to the famous Ouija. Faceball 2000. If I'm not mistaken, this is a first-person shooter? Because there's a Game Boy Faceball that looked like ass, but was technologically impressive for its time. Yeah, it's just... I mean, listen, it's Mode 7, and the Super Nintendo was not really cut out for this. Vinny, this isn't Mode 7. Oh yeah, I guess there aren't any Mode 7s here. About that music. It sounds like it was generated by that Zalgo shit. Not Zalgo, Algo rhythm. Al Algo music. Just get the programmer to make music, it'll save money. <laughs> you can program some music, can't you? Just just do it like you program in like the game's uh shoot system. This is Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Is that supposed to be Tim Curry? There they are, Pesci and Marv. Whoa, 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 did he just say simp? I compared the, uh, Dennis the Menace game to this. They're both fucking terrible, and it's both household objects attacking you. I've never gotten past, like, the first ten minutes of this game, and I don't intend to. I love useless guns in video games. Home improvements like this, there's like, again, like, just fast, shitty platformers where everything is trying to kill you very quickly. Yeah, here at the Plaza Hotel, the guests just don't mind being complete assholes. Fun. Press the button like 50 times. Is that real? You have to mash the elevator button. It's amazing how people know about this. I pressed it a couple times. I don't know what button it is to press it. Like, do you have to be in the exact right spot? We know because of AVGN. I do not remember. I just remember like buffalo diarrhea, you know? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, game sucks. You die very easily. If I rented this or owned this, I would have been miserable. Hello, Gandalf. Hello, Frodo. I mean... They've got... Some text from the book? I will miss you, Bilbo. I wish you well on your journeys. Hobbit names be like, Here are my sons, Two Fungus, Weed Whacker, <laughs> and Nose Drip. It seems like it's gonna be one of those, those games that you kinda... You know, start slow, and you gotta talk to people. These attack animations are kind of awful, and you don't know if you're actually making contact with the enemy. Damn. Stabbed into bones. Yeah, this isn't really fun to play, is it? This wolf segment does not bode well for the rest of the game. Very glad to see you. There are wolves all around. I don't remember Frodo saving Pippin from wolves in the Lord of the Rings book. Come on! You have failed your quest and allowed the ring to fall into the hands of Sauron. You must now gather your courage and try again. This game has a... ...password system? God, what... I don't have the patience for this. This segment would just be a nightmare. That face. Frank Roman. It's like someone, like an alien, who lives in another country, was trying to make up, like, American names. Miles Rockwell? <laughs> What's wrong with Miles Rockwell? Did he just smell bad smell? I think he smelled Mountain Demon. Hi, Player A. Welcome to the Tour de Grunge. Oh, no. Oh, this is really bad. I mean, the attempt at some form of 3D... I don't know if this used... I'm assuming it used Mode 7. Someone's gonna tell me it used, like, Mode 9. Eight laps of this. Eight laps. That is what- oh my god, the faces! I just want to see more faces, pretty much. That's it. 
Is it just me or it looked like he's got a mess? Oh, that's the bike seat. <laughs> Winning is no mystery. I am feeling very vulnerable right now. Look at <laughs> this fucking absurdity. That's amazing. That's amazing. Please take your screenshots of that. The Great Waldo Search. The game tops the chart with the record of having the least amount of content on the SNES. Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? Imagine spending $60 for 10 minutes of content. Do I have to find more Waldos? Better luck next Where's time you Waldo? didn't- you didn't win. Where the fuck is Waldo? Where's Waldo? Everywhere? I did it, I won. No RNG, so it's like the same level every time. I guess once you memorize where the Waldos are, you're done. Where's Waldo? Where the fuck is Gary? This game is well known for being the game that bankrupted Enix. The old television show was cancelled one season in before the game could be finished. Quite often the game would softlock and you'll get stuck in walls or warp to the title screen where there is no escape. Whoa, what? <laughs> what? Oh, does he... Okay, is it like modern day King Arthur who goes back in time? Woman. <laughs> yes, woman and lady. Oh yeah, no, I, I got all that. Thank you. Trunk, Darren, Brick, of course. <laughs> brick has bricks on his outfit. Football. <laughs> it's a football. It's a suit of armor with a football on it. That's so good. Exit looks tough. Uh, yeah, exit is the best. Wait, I exited walking down and now I have to walk up. Sure is an exciting walk through the forest here. This wall of fire is too dangerous to try to cross. I can see the summit of Shield Heights beyond these flames. Can't go there. There. <laughs> There's no fucking enemies. <laughs> exciting enemies. They just went. Oh, oh, oh. Street Hockey 95 has some of the most slippery-feeling controls on the entire SNES and is an exercise in frustration. <laughs> Those are awesome people. This game has really good box art. I guess that's a positive. It's nice. That's nice to hear. Give up. I don't know who I'm controlling. Am I playing? Oh, that's, that's my character. Oh man, the controls are extremely slippery. I don't know how someone played this game and said, yes, these controls are fine. Or it's it's perfectly acceptable not to see your character for a good chunk of time. That That's pretty cool. The, the fucking, the background's amazing. It's just sludge and fire and industrial waste. There is a, an aspect of this that I like, which is that this is, this is all like a half pipe and you can do like Tonky Honk type vert tricks. So, I mean, there's some redeeming value here, and if, if it has good box art, that's that's great. That's that's like 90% of a game. Darling. Steel Talons, one of the two games on the console to attempt to do full 3D graphics without the use of the Super FX chip. So, wait, 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 wait. 3D without Super FX chip. Oh, no. The frame rates on the bullets are very high. There is something kind of impressive about this. It just feels so disjointed. This makes me just want to play Ace Combat 7 more. So, no two players, no... I'm gonna try real mode. You don't like clown music in your helicopter game? Ooh, boy. It's nearly unplayable. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no! It's so real! I'm so happy I didn't rent this as a kid. It would have put me off to 3D gaming forever. Nickelodeon guts. D -d 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 do you have it? Guts. Do you have? Do you have? Do you have? Do have? Do 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 do. Ch choose your uh, lame child that you get to play as. <laughs> For people that didn't watch Guts growing up. Yeah, you, you had to compete in sporting Anima? events to get a piece of the aggro crag. You know, Annie, that's one of my sons, aggro crag, eh? 
Oh god. God, why did they try to make a game out of this? But, I mean, trying to translate a TV show of athleticism into a video game is going to be kind of difficult if you have so many events. It's always fun when they focus more on the animations than the gameplay. But yeah, I mean, it was very... Oh god, this is my fault. Oh no. No, 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 no. Yep, permanent spine damage. Permanent spine damage, permanent. Permanent. Permanent spine damage, permanent. Yeah. Hey, chat, I'm not playing this poorly for, for the japes. I am genuinely trying. <laughs> How is it this bad? Because it's made by a Western developer. Oh, are you that person again? All the Baka Gaijins can't make any games. But you can't look at Nickelodeon's guts and be like, those are the Bakas. This was a quick cash grab to try to capitalize on some stupid kid show. <laughs> Why can I do flips? <gasps> oh! Oh! No! Grab the fucking rope! Grab the rope! That horn mocks me. Ugh. It's like Lester the Unlikely levels of fun. It has to be some of the worst platforming on the Super Nintendo. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh god. It, oh, oh no. At least let this kid die. I want the kid to die in peace, but I, I don't want to wait four minutes and ten seconds for it to happen. That was one of the most frustrating things I've ever played in a video game. I hate it. I hate it so much. Now, I had one of these games, but um, almost every Ren and Stimpy game was a huge disappointment. I think I had Vidiots, which is also on here. What is, what is this? I mean, the only thing it kind of has going for it is that Stimpy looks like Stimpy. That this dude is way too buff. What are you doing? Oh no, 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 no. Aren't firefighters supposed to help like those in need? No, they're just supposed to kill cats. Oh, Alright, got it. So I think you have to collect the things. Um is that Ren? Who the fuck is that? Why is there an emaciated Ren? Oh fuck. Sure is fun. Love to get cold cocked in the back of the head. Chad is now going to tell me it's not cold cocked, but it's cold cocked. Please, please no. Well, I got one of the objects. Yeah, you got to get all the objects um, that are that are here without getting destroyed by the fireman. See, so then you're supposed to pick up the objects. Sometimes you can run. Sometimes you you can't. Please, please leave. No, sir. I didn't like it. Stimpy. I am so hungry I could eat boiled shoe leather! I've got the plan, Stimpy. Allow me to make a business proposal. Squeak! I tell you, squeak! Oh yeah, God, I remember this. It looks a little bit like the show, like the colors aren't totally in the lines. And there's Muddy Mudskipper. Keep in mind that this is a business plan. So that they can make money by pretending Ren is a mouse. And yet, Stimpy is still Ren's real enemy. Like, Stimpy will... I mean, that's kind of in character for show Stimpy. It's another one of these, um, repeating backgrounds games. God, I must have been miserable after renting this. This is really not very fun. Vinny has been a bit of a boomer lately. Hello, fellow kids. It is me, TikTok Sauce. Welcome to the stream, fam. I'm 37, but I'm going to pretend like I'm 20. <laughs> I should get the AI from the TikTok voice, and I should just use that. That face when Ren jumps. Actually, that face when Ren does anything. Isn't Ren a hottie? It gets me going seeing him spank Stimpy like that. I'm getting flustered. Here's a game I've never heard of. It's called Rex Ronan Experimental Surgeon. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> okay, what is this game about? Jake Westboro thought he had it all a successful sales career with Blackburn Tobacco Company. Jake started smoking when he was 15, but now he's dying. <laughs> all caps from smoking the cigarettes he once sold. 
Dr. Ronan will shrink himself to the near microscopic size. Enter Jake's body to fight Jake's diseases. Oh, no. oh God. Oh, oh my, oh God. So you gotta get all this off, but it, it fucking sucks to actually play the game. The only thing, <laughs> I love the, the faces in the top left are pretty amazing. There's some like emote meme material up there happening. Smoking stains your teeth yellow. Honestly, this game is so bad, it probably would have made me start smoking, just to rebel. I mean, I did, but, uh, yeah, it wasn't because of this game. False statement causes damage. Oh, you actually have to, like, answer trivia questions while you're playing the game. Oh, my god. I appreciate the sentiment, jokes aside. I wish I could go back in time and just not smoke. Like, Freddie Mercury smoked because he liked the way his voice sounded, and that was, like, my excuse because I was just too lazy to try to quit. And it is hard as fuck to quit smoking. It wasn't as cool as I thought it was. And when you quit, as soon as you quit, you begin to realize how fucking stinky you are. Why is his throat obstructed by Nickelodeon slime? <laughs> okay, so Vinny's uh, preaching lesson time is over. Sorry about that. But what I do want to say is, you gotta deliver with the product. Most of these educational games are really fucking bad. Look at how far you have to be like, why do I need to see that far behind my character? Smoking gives you robots in your lungs. I guess you could say, like, minus the metal, all life forms are robots. <laughs> but it makes no sense whatsoever. Those cats are driving fast, it says. Digitized SNES Robertsons? That seems necessary. Oh no. Why did they keep attempting this way too soon? Like, Mode 7's cool, but god damn. What? It's the lamest gun sound I've ever heard. Red wind. Red wind. It's like two different voices. It was red wind. Oh, oh my! Oh my God! Here are some emotes. New Jersey. Why does it say New Jersey? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is the most confusing thing I've ever seen. <laughs> what are you supposed to get from this? Oh! 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 Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Oh, this is... Oh, this is insane! <laughs> cha cha McReady! It's so, so thoughtless and so, so bad! Okay, I think I'm done playing this game, but I would like to see all of these crusty characters that they designed. If you could see my face right now. The dang old Porky's butthole, but out there, but the dang old Porky's butthole. And Wayne's World, presented by THQ. You'll notice a trend. <laughs> Dana Carvey's head just pasted onto a JPEG. Now I think it's time for an extreme close-up. Amazing. You're getting an episode of Wayne's World, a very poorly written, terrible episode of Wayne's World on your Super Nintendo. And then this monstrosity. Oh, you have to destroy bagpipes like bad music? Because rock and roll is best, bagpipes bad. I understand, thank you, game. And the music is just like the crustiest of guitar. Do you hear this music? Oh, man. Oh, it's an accordion. Why does it have Wayne's voice when the accordion... Wait, what the fuck? It's just... Chipmunk Wayne. What? Is that a kazoo? <laughs> Is it a flying kazoo? How literally are they taking this concept? Look, no stairway, it says. And this is why so many movie games got a bad rap, and then Goldeneye came along and changed that. And then... We just kind of don't get movie games anymore, you notice that? Development costs finally got too high for it to break even. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oof. I can't talk about it anymore. It's giving me a headache. That's the last game I have on the list. Now, I know there's more shitty Super Nintendo games that I've never heard of or seen. This is what I have for now. 1995. Oh, I played this one. 
Yep, I played this one. Kind of makes you think of an alternate dimension where the N64 didn't come out, and they just had to use the Super FX chip to create 3D games. Like, what what would they have been? You you get the sense of of depth, and you even get to see your car. But yeah, the controls are are god awful. Super Mario started, 64 started out as an SNES game with Super FX2 chip. That bit about Mario 64 isn't true. Chat member was wrong. Mario 64 was a GBA game. I heard it was for the Commodore 64, and then Nintendo bought the rights to Mario from Mario Sigali, who was Miyamoto's landlord, who said, I'll sell it to you, but only if you free my mother from the clutches of Watto. And so Qui-Gon Jinn, one of Nintendo's lawyers, said, of course, and they did a pod race, and then they, they won. They got the rights to Mario from Mario Sigali, and then ported it over to the N64. 